charge. Try to keep an eye on it alongside our wonderful observing team to catch all these secrets as they unfold in real time. Kismet managing to catch a Pred. That's a massive first blood as well. You're in absolutely no rush. It is the smoke grenade down. The stun's going to connect on Kismet, but there is not going to be any. Did you drop some cold the on them like in major three? Well in nah, I didn't. I didn't say any cold. Maybe that was on me, but. Momentum I didn't want to jinx anything, right honestly. I just didn't want to jinx so anything. Fast. I don't know if anyone managed to grab a trophy. We've got a couple of points, a couple of kills. Hyden finishing up this one. What a turn on the dashi. Perfect weapon. Dude, for someone said, why did you triple mid break off on uh, game two of round 11? This is so funny because in the comms, I think it was Brandon that was like trying to call it off because he's like, dude, you need to get that trophy out. Because I, I forget who had the trophy that round. Maybe it was Ant that had the trophy. But he, he, was, he didn't get it out quick enough. It was fine because we had the trophy, but we, I guess he didn't get it out quick enough. And it fucked us over. But it was so funny because they were hesitant about it. They were, because, or I think it was Brandon, Brandon that was hesitant. He was like, yeah, yeah, like, make sure you got that trophy. Like, they were going to throw these nades. Like, and we just ended up going with it. And yeah. The job, the rival it was, it was <laughs> not great at the start, nice, but easy and pulled out the fucking insane play. A players on optic not able to shoot their guns and a first blood that was a blink. <clears> is this a bot gonna stay up? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll post the bot right? after this. I'm after this, stream, interested for to sure. See how they're gonna approach this attack. We know the wall bang spots this guy, <coughs> bro. My throat use. fucking hurts. I'm hoping right I'm not, not coming down with a sickness of two, but you have to be creative playing against this team. Got six bottom green skies the overseer no flanks rolling through just yet All how's the throat it's Mom not not great i'm not gonna lie the setup. voice is starting to get lost and New York. yeah deep on the defense so you guys stream scrims i have no idea we haven't Shotzi talked about it yet plant spot as well so boston announced their roster on. really who are they who are they playing with snoopy purge awakening Cammy or cammy so they got three three guys from the the challengers uh what's it called challengers finals i guess you also get an IV trip treatment straight up i might have to yeah i was gonna say prolude is the odd one out there right which challengers team you think is the most promising uh, i don't know i mean i always dude like paul ended up winning that tournament i think paul I always thought Paul was a good player. He got kind of bad situations, like with our New York team. I mean, we still did pretty well with him too, but a weird New York situation, a weird London situation for him. He was with 04 uh, before 04 got picked up, and they were doing like decently well in the challenger stuff. Was it cold in the venue because you had a big puffer on it? I would have been sweating. It actually, it was a, it was like a puffer, but it was more of like a windbreaker, so it was, it was pretty light. It's not, it, it's not like it was heavy. Like that, of the bomb being planted uncontested and then doubling up over towards the bridge. Not just Shotzi in that environment, but Kenny as well. You love the trigger discipline coming out from Shotzi. Letting Kenny pick it up, and even though he gets traded, subliners unaware a second player would be waiting in the wings. Retake not on point. Two offensive rounds. How icy was Bruce this weekend? Inside. Pretty icy. First to see He's always icy. Story for the folks who are new at home. I was mad about this round. Because uh, this short to top ladder, top or top plat play fucked us over so bad in the Minnesota match versus or versus Minnesota with the Lynn shit where he would just constantly do it. Ken even calls out here that they could be up short because they stun top plat. Because uh, Brandon knows they stun top plat, but Ken is like, bro, if they stun you top plat, they could be up short. Like I don't have the, I'm, I'm not looking at it. And it should just be on Brynn to know that this guy can just climb the ladder and be up here. It was a good, it was a good call out by Ken, but hey, Brandon didn't like recognize it in the moment, I guess. Honestly, this is my first time watching all of this shit back. I'm not going to lie. I didn't watch this shit back yesterday. I mean, the LAT, the first New York match and the LAT match were kind of on the same level. Because we had a reverse sweep for the LAT one, honestly. Maybe the LAT just because we were down 0 too. How on earth did they win this round? Dude, I have zero clue. This is a great play uh, by Brandon to like go up top down. They know this guy uh, got over to here. He kills him and then Ken and Brandon just play as well. Hey JK, appreciate the, the sub, but tier one. 
Did you get your optic chain yet? We did. We got the optic the chain and we got the ring. So a big, big weekend for jewelry this this week weekend for me and I guess AG. Ken as well, but he already had a ring. You got the ring already? Nah. I think it takes a little bit. I think Ken was saying he didn't get his Vanguard ring until like major two of the next year or some shit. So it might be a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if that was on LAT or, or on CDL or what. Hey, Jarcilla, appreciate the, the sub. Lucy Thank you, man. For the moment. And subliners, a full stack over towards Did you say, uh, expect LAC to make such a good run at champs? Honestly, no, but they were, it was so typical for them. Again, like I was talking about before, they're kind of like a rebuild team of some scraps. And to get top four and actually play the way they did, they were they were playing hard point really well. As a win. Imagine it's hard to lock in after champs. I mean, it's still a big paycheck. So at least for the player. But again, it, it is weird because it's like, this was what we were playing for. Like, we were playing for that game. So this is, it's kind of just like extra icing on the cake for me at least, Managing and probably for the players too. And that is the dynamic that but this is, uh, so much trust. everyone's, everyone's trying to get the ring, you If Kenny is world starring on the mainstays, Shotzi and Pred gets They were so supposed to be screaming really well. Those plays. It's a unique smoke I mean, we were screaming pretty well. To let them play on the aggression. Optic Texas. What are you Making planning to do with the money? The I gotta get a car down here, so that's it'll probably help with that. I get a, like a small percentage, so I was never even close, dude. I, I would, like, I had pretty decent places with teams, but always at champs. We'd always get like top six and stuff. Honestly, you think the winner's advantage is enough? Uh, probably. It's just I I get it like. I get it from the CDL perspective where it's like, dude, we don't want a reset having to affect our viewership like that. And kind of like every esport is kind of molded into that where it's just a one grand finals match at this point. So I like best nine better than, you know, best of seven, at least. So it's whatever. You never want to like go into the match being like, oh, we could have prepared a little bit extra or I didn't spend enough time doing X, Y, Z. You know what I mean? You don't want to have to live with that there regret. That's what it usually is for like champs. Like if you lose like champs, nice. and obviously this is my first champs win, but I've been a part of what four other champs now, and we didn't win. It's always like, what could you have done extra, or like what, what more could you have done? And it's always like a regret thing of like, oh, if I would have just did one extra little vod thing on this, maybe it would have helped in this map or whatever. So having it Absolute actually. Stone cold. Like the work payoff is awesome. Oh, okay. Are you gonna get a call with AG? No, nah, I'll let him. I'll let him rock. How do you feel getting the interview after the win? I mean, it was cool. It was. I mean, it was cool to just speak my speak mind and get a get some words in. I didn't want to take it away from the players because they were the ones who actually won that shit. You know, man needs help. Lost his voice. Yeah, I, I lost my voice shit too. So, to me, this round was annoying as fuck because. Or maybe it was the one later on, but dude, he just kept hitting our top fountain. And it's like, we didn't, it kind of like, we didn't react to it. We were talking about mid, mid, uh, mid game, you know, playing the fucking C2 spot to watch this shit. But we didn't do it in the defense after it, and he just kept hitting it. And I was like, why aren't we adjusting it? This is literally the opening that they're getting every time, you know? Hey, Bryce, appreciate the sub. Did you guys watch LAT vs Ultra and Ultra vs NYSL? Um, we didn't watch too much, too much of LAT vs Ultra. We watched the Rio S&D just to get some ideas in case we had to play at Map 9 versus New York. Uh, but we watched the Ultra vs New York, yeah. There's no really reason to watch anything else other than that Rio search for LAT Ultra because we weren't going to play either of them. And we were out to dinner when that match was going on. So like, we were watching on our phones and shit, but we weren't like taking it in like bot session. You you sure you Imagine coaches could take one time out in S and D. Dude, it would be so beneficial. It would be so beneficial if we could take a timeout. Did you know of the Rio or Karachi wallbangs before you saw them being used? No, those were new to us. Doesn't let it rip at the start but we knew well, going into the Karachi map two that we were gonna have to play around it because we knew they were gonna try that shit. Did Kenny throw that nade or Ant? Uh, no, it was Ant. Ant threw the nade. There was no way Ken was gonna throw that nade from there. Did you guys have spots you didn't end up using? Um, yeah, but I don't know if they, 
some of the spots Chelsea were just wisely, so situational that we grenade. might not even be able to use it even in like an EWC. Would you ever have veto advantage or start the best of nine one zero? Well. It, what are you starting? Best 9 1 0 with what? Zero veto advantage? Like, I don't know what you mean by. So you're getting. Uh, do you mean you're at a veto disadvantage if you're uh, 1 0? Or. Or what? Because I think the veto advantage is fine. But it depends on how the vetoes go for if you're up 1 0. If, you, if, it's, if it's still like a slight advantage, then maybe the 1 0. But if you're at like a full disadvantage, but you're up 1 0, then. then the record for first like vetoes would be normal, but it's hard because you can't really have normal away. vetoes with best of nine, no? You think you guys had more in the right tank? Now, in terms of what? Team. I mean, th those guys were prepared to go all nine maps. I'm surprised we won it that quick, but our guys were ready to go nine maps just in case. Did you always expect it to be NYSL when you beat them back in the uh, grand finals? Oh, um, in winners finals, after we beat them, um, I was like pretty sure we were going to play them again. I was almost like, so I was pretty far, positive like we were going to play them again. I'm not going to lie. And it's Hydra leading the charge again. I thought no it was it either going to be them or possibly LAT, the but I, I thought New York was going to be who we were going to face. Nah, this is, the, this is the round where I got pissed at it. Because he had done it so many times, and we still weren't picking up on it. And we didn't go to C2 to, to watch this shit. Or we just, we didn't... Constant or we didn't move. watch it at all or, or counter it at some point like ants here or ants gonna come up here but he obviously Pac was in a dirty corner and there's and no way for ants to, to like know he's there already but the it was like the Hydro, only opening that kept getting abused versus us Brett, and it was a 4-4 round so that was, that was annoying Best plays of the year how emotional was Brandon when he got backstage oh I mean not that emotional I think the most emotional that he was was when uh when he was on stage like when i was with him i think he was super emotional but he was like after after we like lifted the trophy and stuff he wasn't there's the second wasn't that much obviously he was still super happy and turned destroyed six first bloods in the game all right this is the five four round this is a huge round this paco has a cruise here however getting past sib maybe a tougher task shotzi spotted once once they had Dante down here, and he saw Ant up top AC. I exact thought we lost it. I was like, takes. how the fuck well, do we break this? You know? But it was so important for us that they had double stacked A. Because let's say this guy was mid, and you know, Ant's probably dead if he was playing like, you know, top fire or something, or even low fountain. But they double stacked A in this specific round. And he, it's because they were double stacking, he gets through to mid, and because they have no mid control, he just climbs up here, wins the gunfight against Caesar. Fucking huge play. But it's like, what would have happened if they had just done like a default where they either you know triple stack b or they have one guy playing top fire or having the guy play low fountain and soloing a like most teams usually do but because we were going a a little bit more they double stack it a go. heister and crisis thank you guys for the the sub with prime appreciate it and then obviously he cruises here it's gonna be a free bomb plant hydra on a like if he cruised just a little bit earlier while ken was planning like if he doesn't get that plan off we probably lose the round but because brandon is able to get the top fountain from top third to, to not die for this streak and because ken's able to get under here just, now it's just a 2v2 yeah the intel who is kismet gonna try to isolate it's Kenny on the bridge. Another yeah, track. he took a little bit too long with the cruise, probably. No connect. No. Hey, Voorhees, appreciate the sub with Prime. Which map do you feel like is most important to win? Map 1 or Map 4 after it was 2-1? I thought Map 1 was huge. I thought Map 1 was huge, but I think the Map 2 was the biggest. Because if, the, if they win Map 2, it's 1-1. One, one, and then, let's say they go into the Karachi Control and win it. Now they're going to a real map where they're... Like, obviously, their comfort pick going up 2-1. So, you know, obviously those first two maps, but I think maybe the, the second one a little bit more. Both of them were big. Close to it, but Round 11. Round 11. So, to break this down, there was a kind of like... I don't want to say a disagreement, but kind of a hesitancy, at least from Brandon, where he's just like... Yeah, you guys better make sure that you get this trophy down because they're going to try and nade mid because these guys wanted to stack mid. I forget who was call, who was calling it. I think Ken was like, "Bro, let's hit 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 mid here," 
And Brandon's just like, like I don't have it. Like I'm gonna be over here. You guys have to. You have to throw this trophy quick. And I guess the trophy just this wasn't there the in time. On attack. In the middle of the play in. Eleven. This is overtime. Optic on attack. Let me see if I can slow it down. So like it, he he throws it, but it doesn't completely bloom. You know there is that timing, and Ken dies to it. And I'm thinking, holy fuck, we just had this this little minor disagreement right at the start of the round. We get blooded for it because of the thing that we knew was possibly going to happen. Because we know they fucking hit the, the mid nades. They're like one of the best nading or probably the best nading team in search like that. And now we have to play an entire round 11, 3 or 4. So at that point I was like, oh fuck, dude. But the plays like they make here, like Ant's play, is, is just insane. Obviously, he wants to take this timing no like to the top fountain, After similar to like what Paco now. is doing against us. Game plan has all changed, and you don't have to worry about the cruise missile anymore. You'll see it here. The, so we'll, we'll fast and forward. The wall being spot and just goes over to the top fountain, Shots right? To be the play He's maker, trying to get info yeah, on who who's top dome if there, he sees anyone game fountain. Game. In this position, I think Kiz is on the other side. I actually thought he was just playing, you know, bottom short. And he was on the other side of the wall. I didn't even notice he was bending until the gunfight happens. So, Ant doesn't see anything here. He goes to the power. He sees Skies. He shoots at Skies. So, Skies knows that he's here. And now he's trapped. He's trapped top found. That's why I was surprised that Kiz didn't run at him. I'm assuming Kiz didn't run at him because he didn't want to just like take a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, but you know, Ant is trapped up you know here the technically. Play's on. They're just waiting for him to crawl out though. Kizman's got the door And then if he goes Ant's the like, you know, I'll smoke for you because because AG has to plant here and he knows that they could be doing this wallbang spot over here. So he needs a smoke to plant. Because he has to plant in the open now because we know it's a wallbang spot. You know, it's a bomb site now that we can't just plant it on the safe side because of the wall bang and because we know that they do this. So we, and it's like, oh, I'm going to have to smoke for you. So he, you know, that's why he's, what's he, he's doing here. He's jumping smoke to try and smoke it for bait. AG so he can lay Shots the bomb. And then he just nades to... back over here, expecting this guy to be uh, going top dome and shifting towards the wall bank spot. So that's why he throws that nade. Find a kill. And then he just goes down the stairs. I guess kids doesn't see him or, or or moves just at the wrong time, and Ant wins the biggest one-on-one -on -one of the fucking seconds. tournament, probably. He escapes now, and as soon as he gets that bomb, and we know that they like to do this, this wallbang spot, we're like, just fucking wrap it, wrap it A. Because we got the pick towards the middle map, you know, Ant's still lurking over here towards fountain side, and now we can wrap it towards the A site. This is big here, because we see Paco mid, Brandon sees him, and AG's already, like, on his high horse, trying to work this kill with Brandon. So once he knows, he's, yo, he's P1, he's P1, he's going towards P3. AG picks up the kill. Now he can fully wrap to A. We can now cover his middle, because that, that's what Ant's going to do here. He actually jumped out the top, went towards mid-cut, towards P1. And now he can cut short for anyone trying to rotate. He gets a kill on Dante. Now it's a 3v1. Fucking perfect play call. I don't know how Ant did that shit, but he did it, and uh, we, we won the round off of it. It was, it was, that shit will go down as, like, one of the biggest rounds, like, ever, honestly. How did Kiz not activate up and shooting there? I, I think he didn't want to to take the one on one and scam because Ant was probably like going back and forth as he was, but he is trapped up there. So I don't know if he, like at least just throw tax or something first and then chow it or something. I don't know. I'm, I was surprised he didn't chow it either because that's that's where I, I thought he was on the other side of the door. I thought he was short, like bottom ladder. That's why I don't I didn't think he like was gonna chow it. But he was he was there on top of the vending at the time, so I'm, I'm I don't know. Hey, your local plum, uh, plumber and Jonads, thank you guys for the subs. Appreciate it. Thank you guys.